This is a Marconi spark gap transmitter from the early days of radio. And uh, the way this works essentially is that uh, it's a big step up transformer and the telegraph key is a switch that turned it on and off. So when you close the contact with the telegraph key, a spark jumps across the gap between these two electrodes over here, like this. And uh, this would also be hooked up to an antenna, so um, that would be spewing out radio waves across a broad spectrum of the, of the radio frequency. Um, and uh, the problem with these is that uh, when one was going, the sort of strongest, loudest one was the one that could be heard, and you had trouble hearing all the rest of them. And this actually came up on the Titanic because the uh, radio officer on the Titanic was broadcasting messages from the passengers of the Titanic, which was a money-making operation for the Titanic and the Marconi company. And uh, the Californian, a ship nearby, was stuck in the ice field and was trying to broadcast a warning about that. The Titanic radio officer asked him basically to shut up because he was trying to hear his relay station that was helping him broadcast his uh, passenger messages. So the uh, Californian radio operator complied, shut up, turned his radio off, and I guess the rest is Titanic history. So we'll just show you the uh, spark again. It's a little technical detail about this. This is a, an important part of this equipment as well, too. This is the, uh, the make and break hammer contact here. And, uh, it works like a doorbell, essentially. So when I turn the power on to the coil here, it creates a magnetic field which pulls this contact over this way and cuts off the power. So then that comes off back this way, turns the power on again, and it goes back and forth like that. So that pulsating magnetic field is what allows this to operate as a transformer on a DC source.